Well, indigenous people from across the country are currently in the nation's capital today lobbying Congress for protection. And some of them who protested the Keystone Pipeline are also planning a march on Friday on the Mall. That's right. Rico Newman from Maryland's Piscataway Kanoi Tribe is one of those participants. And you also have a lot of people you know who are participating in this. Can you tell us a little bit about what's going to be happening over this three-day period? Well, it goes to the tagline that's been attached to the demonstrations that have been going on both in the, the West and here uh, in Annapolis and in Washington, D.C., and that is water is life. Uh, we don't have to go far from home to see some of the uh, things that happen in the waterways. We've had spills right here in the Washington metropolitan area where sewage has gotten into water. Imagine what would happen if that pipe going under the Missouri River were to, were to fracture. Uh, it would uh, uh, poison water to serve people downstream and upstream. It, it, it's just something that needs not to be done uh, for the want of a few uh, uh, dollars, some profit. Uh, the, they're going to continue to fight this because due to treaty rights and the fact that you don't, can't forget the idea of whose homeland that is in spite of uh, uh, what rules can be placed to say that it isn't. Uh, the United States needs to stand up to its obligations to the native tribes. They sign treaties. They keep their treaties with other nations. They should keep their treaties with the Indian nations. And there's some events planned on Capitol Hill tomorrow. What, uh, can you give us a few details about that? Well, there's going to be a, a demonstration. There's going to be a march from the mall up to the uh, Capitol, um, up to the uh, White House. Uh, I wish I could participate myself, but <laughs> uh, I'll probably spend the day in, at the museum uh, uh, reviewing some new exhibits. But a lot of my friends will be there, people that I know from other tribes uh, that participated in the uh, demonstration that was held in Annapolis last fall. Uh, they'll be there. So we, they're expecting a very large turnout for it, and uh, hopefully that uh, not just native population, but we're hoping that everyone else that's sympathetic to this and understand the plight that's going on. And the fact that uh, if that water source is contaminated, there's no plan B. Uh, nobody's even talked about a plan B should something happen. Uh, you talk about uh, fracking, et cetera. Uh, it has caused a lot of uh, turmoil out in that part of the country with uh, the increase in earthquakes. Uh, it's no, part of that country is known as Tornado Alley. Uh, all you need is a natural disaster, and uh, you've got chaos if people can't have water. And th there's no plan that if something does happen, then what do you do? You, you've, there have been indigenous people who have been out there uh, fighting this for many, many, many yes. months. Yes. Um, it was stopped. It was postponed until the new administration mm -hmm. came in. Just today we hear it got a go-ahead to go. So this must be devastating for the community. Well, I, I don't think the ink had dried on him becoming the president of the United States before he did both the Keystone and the uh, uh, Dakota uh, Access uh, approve them uh, with one quick stroke of the pen. So he put back in place something that had been determined that was negative and would have negative impacts on the environment, uh, certainly something that the tribes uh, that are being impacted out there uh, don't want because they understand at the end of the day exactly what the consequences would be for them and for those who are down the river from them. Now, there are a lot of issues on the table. We've seen quite a few marches and rallies, um, the women's issue, immigrant issues, and clearly your issues too. Do you think the right people are listening and are ready to take action? Well, someone ran an article uh, before the election uh, about the attitude, disposition that the current president has about Native people, and it has never been a positive. Um, if it comes down to a decision as to their rights and interests, then it will take a back seat to what he sees as uh, job creation and uh, progress, and as you heard in one of the news items, that energy uh, takes precedence uh, over common sense. All right, so there's a lot more to hear. Again, everybody's lobbying for the next two days, and then the march will be on Friday. Yes. All right, thank you so much for joining us. And just to wrap that up, thousands are expected to gather for Friday's march. It will start at the mall at 10 a.m., then head to the White House. After the march, Native Americans will gather for a rally at the Ellipse where they'll make their demands known to the new administration.